All right, boys, so I know I've mostly been doing Call of Duty videos and that kind of stuff, just other videos, but, you know, I decided to take a back, you know, run back, go back to my roots. Um, I decided to do a story time for this video, just why the fuck not, you know? I just was low-key feeling it, you know? I felt like the, the Call of Duty content and the video game content and that stuff was cool, but you guys obviously like my, like, dumb stories and stuff, so I decided, you know, we should do that for this video. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys prefer. Um, You know, I'm cool with doing either. They're pretty fun. Again, this YouTube thing isn't something I'm, you know, serious about. Like, I know in literally nobody watched i'm just doing it for fun i'm just doing it for myself um, i just like the editing process but yeah i'm just gonna stop talking about it i'm just gonna straight into it so this video is about my good friend arp we're gonna call him roger because saying r every time i feel like that's gonna mess up my sentences yeah so we're just gonna call this dude roger right and, you know roger he's, he's an interesting case you know what i'm saying he's straight but he'd be acting sus most of the time he's around his girl and stuff so he, he's, he's a weird one but yeah anyway this story is basically by the time we call roger twerking in the bathroom and you know, you know what i'm saying stay last that's, that's all you guys really need to know i'm just gonna get right into it so this is a uh, Roger's house, right? So every year, um, he has a big party after the end of school. You know, at the end of school year, he has a huge party. Everybody comes. You know, Roger's a pretty popular dude, so everybody's there. You know what I'm saying all the bad bitches, they're all there. And Roger's a pretty wealthy dude. Like his family is pretty rich. Like he's like some prince in Dubai or some shit. I don't fucking know. But you know, I'm pretty tight with Roger, so you know, I got that special VIP dangling access. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Roger picked us up in like a limousine, like it was like a Cadillac or some shit like that. You know, super classy. Kind of expect that type of shit from Roger, of course. And I walked into the, you know, his house. He has a really big house, it's like a hundred floors. I know that sounds like cab, but I'm being for real. It's a hundred floor house, you know, what can you do? And there were so many people there. I'm pretty sure everybody from our school was there and, you know, some more. You know, you had some celebrities. I saw Leonardo DiCaprio on the back. Um, I also saw Brad Pitt, you know, in like the bathroom and shit, no homo. You know, Michael Jordan was there too. He was kind of old. I don't know why he was there, but, you know, um, he's just good friends with Roger, I suppose. So, yeah, man, you have all these celebrities. You have me, you have my homies. You have Roger, and then you have everybody from our school. It was a pretty wild party. This was before COVID, though, so, you know, don't get your panties in a twist. Don't worry, we're in breaking the rules nothing like that um this is before covid before this entire pandemic so yeah don't worry we're not some douchebags that thought my god let's go party you know <laughs> we didn't do any of that shit so you know we're good but yeah anyway it was like getting later into the night like i say with every story but it was getting later into the night you know we all had some drinks and us um mongo was there obviously mongo comes mongo invites herself to a lot of these things like we, we like mongo's like i said mongo's hella weird and a lot of the time we don't invite her to parties because we're scared that she'll you know come and do some shit to us i don't want to go into specifics which you guys probably know what i mean but yeah bro she invited herself to this party and we all had a few drinks and us you know uh roger monga v and two other people we're gonna call them um turkey and apple yeah but so we're all like kind of a like a squad right we're all like kind of a group and we were just sitting there by the table you know by his personal bar and we were all having we all had a couple of drinks in us and i was talking about how monga's weird and she is but she's like she's looking weird in, in a good way you know she, i'm saying she's, she's kind of nasty so i was trying to i was trying to hit it bro i'm not gonna lie i was trying to hit it so i was you know i was feeling myself i was trying to talk it up with her roger and v were already getting into it you know they're already kissing and stuff but like i said i don't judge especially when it's my friends you know they can do whatever they want so you know roger and v were getting into it um turkey and apple were, were getting into it low-key so we were all you know kind of getting into it but then roger he was like mid making you remember bro i can't do that. I have a girlfriend and he's like oh yeah that's my bad bro so like v kind of like slapped his ass and he's like all right you're good it's okay no hard feelings and then roger's like yeah yeah and then roger's like hey bro you mind i'm gonna go to the bathroom you know i have to take a piss and we're like oh yeah bet so you know we go to the bathroom and it's been 20 minutes and we're gonna kind of worried we're like yo is he past out but, you know we still don't go inside which is kind of bad on our part you know we should have checked up on our friend but you know whatever and you know um turkey gets very worried she's like yo you should go check up on on roger he's probably like not doing so well he had a lot of drinks so v and i are like yeah all right, we'll go do that so v and i walk in the bathroom you know we're holding hands because we're lucky scared so yeah we're walking in the hallway and once we get closer to the bathroom door you know i, I kind of push my ear up to you know to the door because i, didn't, I just don't want to bust it, you know because what if he's okay like we don't need to go in because that's yeah, just gonna be awkward so like we hear some kind of moaning inside and we get worried because like why why would there be moaning inside you know what i'm saying like just why so v's hella strong but he's like seven foot two fucking 250 pounds of pure muscle so he kicks on the door and, you know we're, we're ready to throw hands you know what i'm saying like who's who's, who's fucking their boy you know I'm trying to catch his fate you know what i'm saying but yeah anyway we bust in and we see we see roger on the floor and we see this other dude you know what i'm saying and roger's up on this dude you know all up on this dude twerking on him you know all cheeked up on a sunday afternoon ass out everything everything's jiggling and clapping you know what i'm saying no homo but you know my boy roger he did have some cake like i'm not gonna sit here and act like he didn't bro he did but that's that's 
a different story. So, you know, Roger's sitting there twerking about this dude, and I look closer and I recognize that dude. It's actually Munga's dad, which is fucking crazy, right? Munga's dad, I didn't know that he was invited to the party, but there he is. Roger's twerking up on him, you know, shaking his ass, all that, up on his dick, all that shit. So, I look next to me, because, you know, I expect V to be right there, like, what the fuck? But instead, V has, V staying right next to me, but instead, he has his dick out. Like, he just, he has that shit in his hand, he's stroking. I'm like, yo, V, what are you doing? He's like, come on, bro, don't be like that. Just, just have fun tonight. I'm like, huh? Have fun? What are you doing? And he rolls his eyes at me and he continues looking at Roger and Mongo's dad, like, you know, getting at it. And he's just going faster and faster with his dick. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm really tired with your stuff. Shit, I'm tired of putting up with your bullshit, bro. I I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. So I go back to the table. I go back to the table where Monga, Turkey, and, you know, Apple are. And I'm like, yo, you guys won't believe what's happening. And I'm like, and they ask me to tell them. And I tell them, they're like, yo, okay, show me then. So I take them to the bathroom and all of a sudden, Monga has her dick out. I'm like, yo, what? I'm out here freaking the fuck out. I'm like, yo, 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 what is happening right now? And I look at Turkey because, you know, Turkey's out of our friend group. I say Turkey's the most sane person. You know, she usually has some Turkey and Apple that usually have like um, their head on their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? They know what the fuck they're doing. So I look at, look over at Turkey and Apple and they kind of shrug. They, they look at me and they shrug. And I'm like, eh, well, loosen up, bro. Just have some fun. I'm like, yo, yo, not you guys too. And Turkey and Apple pull out their dicks as well. You know, they all have their dicks out. I, like, I didn't even know that they had dicks. I didn't even know that girls could have dicks. But, you know, uh, I guess they were just built different i don't fucking know bro yeah so they all have the dicks out i'm just standing there like in astonishment like i seriously don't know what happened i try to run away but munga grabs me and she I, like i said in like a, in another story time munga's strong as fuck even though she's like three foot one so she grabs me and she throws me on the floor and she's like you're not going anywhere today bro and you guys will probably tell i'm getting kind of tired of talking i've been talking for six minutes straight so i'm just gonna wrap this shit up and just get fucking to the end long story short basically what happens is i'm on the floor right you know i'm laying there uh low key bleeding out a little bit and you know roger gets up from among us dad he had he comes over to me and he he, he starts twerking up on me and long story short like i said i busted all right guys i busted a nut uh because roger was twerking on me now you guys might think oh my god bro that's so like that's so gay but i i seriously don't think that's gay i think you're just like showing love to your homies you know what i'm saying i think you're just showing Showing love to your friends, showing love to your boys, and I think that's completely fine. So if you think that's gay, you're just homophobic, bro. Like straight up. Yeah, but anyway, man, this video's already way too fucking long. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a like if you <laughs> enjoy this stupid ass story. And I just want you guys to know that all the stories that I tell are in fact true. They're all true stories. None of them are fake. This is not a joke, you know. Everything I said about Roger, everything I said about Mongo, Turkey, Apple, V, they're all true, man. So just just watch out because you guys probably have people in your friend group just like just like I do. But uh, yeah, man, I said thank you for watching. I'm probably gonna do a a little bit more like this and you know i just kind of want to mix up the shit that i put on this channel because you know watching the same thing over and over again is pretty boring but yeah man that's it all right thank you bye